What is going on, 242? Brad here, coming at you to share uh, a funny story from a time when I was preaching. Now, obviously, the first story that came to my mind is probably the first story that came to a lot of your all's minds, which is the, the epitome story, uh, which I've told at all the campuses, I believe, at some point. And if I haven't, then you'll have to find that story. Ask me about that story another day. But but I was about what uh, story to share with you, and, and uh, I, I wanted to share this one. Um, here's what you need to know. like. I'm not a very nervous person. I, I really don't worry too much like about my safety at all. And I realize in like the times and climates we're in sometimes, like, you know, preaching on stage to, you know, thousands of people, like, you know, there could be some risk involved with that, especially if someone didn't like, you know, what I was saying or whatever. But I usually don't even worry about that. And especially at 242, we have such a great safety team that, you know, helps people and keeps an eye on things. And, you know, I've had people you know, stand up and yell at something during a service. Or I've been at services at our church where people like balled up something and threw it at the stage like paper. So I'm just aware that that stuff can happen. Um, but one time I was preaching, not at our church, actually, I was preaching at a different church. And uh, and I was just there as a guest preacher, uh, just kind of filling in and helping them out. And I, and it's a huge auditorium. I mean, huge. I think ours auditorium in Brighton is like maybe like 1,700 people. This is like a 3,000 seat auditorium, like a big old balcony. It's a big, huge thing. And uh, as I remember on stage, I'm preaching. And as I'm preaching, I see this couple kind of walk into the church service and they walk in a little bit late from the worship. And I noticed they're carrying a box. And I'm like, that's odd. Like who brings a box to church? Like, like what person, like, Maybe a purse, maybe like a, a backpack. Who brings a box to church? So I just thought that was weird. Now, I'm on stage, mind you, and I'm I'm talking. I'm preaching, but I'm fully aware that this person has a box. And then I watch this person like walking. I mean, they're not like stopping in the back of the room. They're not jumping into a pew. like wait, they're, they're walking like all the way up. And so I'm preaching the word of God, and I'm like looking at this people. Coming. I'm like, is this a bomb? Like what is happening here? And they just keep getting closer and closer. And I'm like – I'm getting nervous. Like I'm, I'm starting like to walk to, like the other side of the stage. Like I'm gonna go preach over here on this side for a little bit, and um, and so I'm just watching. This, I'm so nervous. Okay, so I and that's in my mind the whole time I'm preaching, and I'll, I'm really kind of freaked out by it. By it, and then the service gets done, and I'm like, okay, whew, it didn't blow up. Service is done. At least you know it's over with. And so you know, and after any services, you know, people always want to usually come up and shake my hand, say good job. So I'm just kind of sitting on the front of the stage, you know, meeting some people, greeting some people. The, the vast majority of people are leaving, just exodus, just leaving out the back of the room. But this couple, they stand up and they start walking over to the meet and greet line with the box. And I am just like, I am like looking around, like, is there no security? Is there no safety? Is there no, like, I seriously like, this is it. This is the moment I die. This is, this is, kaboom. This is how it ends. And so the couple gets to the front of the line and I, I don't know what else to do. I'm just like, hey. And, and I, and what they said was this, they said, Hey, you're from 242, right? And I was like, yeah. I'm like, is this certain person on your staff? I was like, yeah. And they're like, well, we're their cousin. And we brought a box of just cookies and goods and things for them and their children. Would you mind taking this box back with you uh, to Michigan and, and to give it to them? And, and I was like, yes, strange person. Why don't I just take this unmarked sealed box? Uh, what it could be? It could be whatever across state lines in my vehicle. That sounds like a great idea. It could be a bomb. It could be <laughs> substances. It could be all these things. I'm just imagining like you know being quarantine or put into some kind of prison because I broke a law. And, uh, and that was just a very weird scenario. So that was probably one of the most awkward moments teaching uh, where I had to really process some stuff. And uh, I was really afraid. I was genuinely afraid. But, um, but hey, I'm here now. All right. Love you guys. See you later on. Peace.